just the camera on. Hey, it's Mercedes with Brandless Media, and welcome to Podcast Tuesday. I'm joined by my co-host, Blessing, as we go over what's in the news, what's making headlines. So we're going to kick it off with the TikTok ban. Now, they've been talking about this in the news for quite some time, and it looks like the House has passed the bill, which is now uh, headed for the Senate to make the final decision on whether TikTok should sell or they're forced to be banned from the U.S. And this is all coming about from TikTok having Chinese ownership. I mean, I do kind of understand the whole, um, you know, national security aspect of it because we don't have the greatest relationship with China. But, I mean, it's a fun site. I mean, I don't see a lot of people giving out their information. And if you're a government worker, you know, in the, that works in the Senate or House or in the White House, why are you using TikTok? So, so I, that's completely on you government people that are, decide, or that are deciding to use TikTok, knowing that, you know, you shouldn't, and, you know, because, you know, technology is hackable. So I feel from a layman's standpoint, like you, me, regular people, I don't see why it should be banned. But I do feel like if you're a government official, that, yeah, you probably shouldn't be using it because of the high risk of getting hacked and, you know, your servers getting hacked and, you know, breach of security. So in, in that aspect, I agree, but you shouldn't ban it for everybody else. That's unfair. And lots of people make money off of TikTok. That's how they make their living. Well, I kind of agree, but disagree. The only issue I have with TikTok, they do need to work on copyright issues. Because I've noticed it's a lot of people, if you're dancing, if you sing, mm -hmm. it's easy for someone to stitch a video and then now they're making money off of you. Somebody stitches it or they steal your work. So that's one of the things they got to like work on. And I think a lot of this is coming about because they feel like with China owning it, they feel like if we end up in a war or a feud with them, they can use that against us because they'll have millions of Americans information. So right. I get that. But then at the same time, we got bigger issues besides TikTok. That's right. another thing. Like, can we lower prices of food? Can we lower the mortgage rates so people can have a place to live? Because right now, I feel like a lot of people are homeless or living paycheck to paycheck, and that's not getting resolved anytime soon. And TikTok is not a priority. Right. We're going to move on to the next headline story, which is Drea and Jalen Green. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of age gaps in relationships, whether men or women. So, but they're both consenting adults, and he's over the age of 18. He's old enough to make his own decisions. He's a grown man. He's playing in the NBA. And she's a grown woman, probably old enough to be his mom if she had him as a teenager. But um, other than the, the fact that I don't really care for the age gap, they're two concerning adults. And it's their business. My only concern is... When I was 21, 22 years old, I really didn't know what I wanted. I was young. My focus at the time was just graduating, going to school. And then, too, I still had that childlike attitude. I just wanted to have fun and not really take on any responsibilities. So my concern is his mindset because you're 22, making all that money. Is he really serious enough to want to settle down and take care of a baby at that age versus her mindset? She's 39. You know, you done seen life, you know, been there, did all of these things, you know, where the mindset is what I'm more concerned about. But, you know, if he wasn't ready and she wasn't ready, they wouldn't have had unprotected, you know what? So they knew the consequences of, you know, having that unprotected, you know. So, yeah. I mean, if she ended up pregnant, I would say more than likely they planned for it because, uh, I don't know. I don't know their bedroom secrets or life or whatever, but 
they all run in the same circles because they all date each other. True. They, so wasn't she a basketball wife? Yeah. 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 True. She. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, not to like shame her past, but she has been out there and dated a lot of high profile men. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that's why a lot of them are frowning on her because they feel like she kind of prayed, not P R A Y, but P R E Y, like she prayed on him mm -hmm. because he's a millionaire. Right. And some people feel like, well, she's getting older now, so now you're having to go back and pray on these youngins that admire you, ooh, and on over you, and that's kind of what they're doing is running game on these younger guys since right. they've gotten older, but. I don't know, time will tell, maybe this might work out, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm on the fence on this one here. Right. I'm kind of like, yes, but no. Right. So, yeah. Me too. It's not much of a story anymore, but Bruno Mars, they were speculating allegedly that he had a $50 million gambling debt that he owed to MGM, but MGM has already came out and said that that's not true. Right. So, not going to even dwell on it because if they're saying it's not true, then it's not true. It's just a rumor. Now, where did that rumor come from? I have no idea. Exactly. Like, why? Yeah. who will put that out there? Who will put that out there? But anywho, if they're saying it's not true and Bruno Mars hasn't said anything, then we're going to say it's not true. So, right. uh, lastly, Nene and Portia. Now, Nene has come out in this long, what, seven, eight minute video telling. Uh, talking about Portia being a fake friend, basically mm -hmm. saying that she refused to film with her on this Netflix show called The Upshaw. They're supposed to be like co-starring in this comedy and Portia allegedly told the production company that she didn't want to work with Nene, that she was uh, too difficult to work with, they had issues in the past, and she just didn't want to work with her. Now, that's alleged. And Nene is alleging that, you know, she did text Portia and Portia texts back allegedly saying that, hey, you wasn't there for me. I'm going through a divorce. Now Nene feels like Portia is being fake for the cameras. Uh, she's afraid of sharing the spot. Basically, they're all a mess. Um, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Is Portia and Simon really not together anymore? Has he moved on so quickly with a new woman? Because I saw a picture with Nene, her man, Simon, and his new boo, alleged new boo. So, because yeah. hmm, wasn't it just two weeks ago they were all happy, lovey-dovey, and now he has a, he's found a woman in less than two weeks? So, I don't know what's going on. And as far as Nene, we all know Nene. She exaggerates. Um, and, you know, she really didn't need to put all this business out there. We're like, what's the reason? She could have mm -hmm. just kept it, um, you know, private between them. Um, she really didn't need to, to, to air this business, especially when Cynthia came aboard and, you know, replaced sure. Portia. So what was the reason for her to, this is all a part of the PR machine uh, with Portia going back to Bravo, I think. I don't really feel like there's really any beef for real. And then mm -hmm. not only that, but if somebody doesn't want to work with you, then they don't want to work with you. Yeah. And then Nene, she's really showing herself to not a, be a good friend because she's airing the business out. So she's proving Portia's point. Like, it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. But time, look, time will tell. The truth eventually will reveal itself. If they're not on good terms, then it is what it is. But... Again, she does have a right to say, no, I don't want right. to work with you. And that, that should be it. It shouldn't have to go into, well, you just don't want to be in the spotlight. You know? Right. <laughs> so exactly. It is, and now you're pulling, you know, pulling all this fake news out there. So right. I don't know. But the, the two of them are always going back and forth. And yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. They probably sitting back laughing at us like, oh, they exactly. eat the court line. But yeah. yeah, I feel like it's a PR thing, too. But yeah. Um, well, don't forget to, of course, watch every video on our channel. Uh, don't forget to watch my um, my box office reviews and, you know, hopefully some upcoming TV shows for me to review. Um, maybe some movies, but, you know, I'll just, you know, let whatever leads me, leads me. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.